Welcome to Wise Monkeys. Today, I'm going to introduce a Raspberry Pi Model 3B Plus. What is Raspberry Pi? Raspberry Pi is a small pocket sized computer. Everything on a card, a credit card sized computer. Let us see the specifications of Raspberry Pi Model 3B Plus. It has 5 and 2 MB of memory at 400 megahertz. It has Broadcom BCM2835 chip. The CPU is 700 megahertz. Low power ARM 1176JZF. It has a graphical processor unit, dual core, video core 4 multimedia core processor. Built in network card 10 by 100 Ethernet with RJ45 jack. Raspberry Pi Model 3B Plus has 4 USB 2.0 ports. It has HDMI video out and resolution of 640 by 350 to 1920 by 1200. It also includes 181080 and it supports PAL and NTSC standards. It is an audio out, multi-channel, high definition audio over HDMI, stereo from 3.5 mm jack. It has a slot for micro SD card. It has 40 pin GPIO. Other connectivities are camera modules and DSI for Raspberry Pi displays. The power rating is 600 milliampere up to 1.8 ampere at 5 volts. It needs 5 volt micro USB power source. The dimensions are 85 by 56 by 17 mm. The most important thing with the Pi is we have to have GPIO. The GPIO, general purpose input output pins. So here we see it as 40 pins. Another smart diagram of these 40 pins we see here. There are two naming conventions. One is the board and the other one is BCM. So as we can see the PCM pins are numbered and pins on the board are also numbered 1 to 40. When we have this pinouts, when we want to use in Python we have to set the board to BCM to use BCM numbering and GPIO.board for using board numbering. Certain peripherals rely only on GPIO BCM numbering. The power pins. The Raspberry Pi can provide both 5 volt pins and 3.3 volt pins. Pin 2 and 4 provide 5 volts. Pins 1 and 17 provide 3.3 volts. And there are several grounds. Pin 6, 9, 14, 20, 25, 30, 34 and 39 are ground pins. The Raspberry Pi 3 draws 2.5 ampere from its power supply and requires around 750 milliampere for boot up and normal headless operation. So if we are using a 2.5 ampere power supply, the 5 volt pins can supply a total current of around 1.1 ampere maximum. This is the comparison of the power drawn by different models of Raspberry Pi. Pi 1B+, Pi 2, Pi 3B and Pi 0. The standard GPIO. There is no single answer to how much current the 5 volt power pins can draw as it is reliant on what power supply we are using and what other components we have attached to the Pi. The Raspberry Pi 3 will draw only 2.5 ampere from its power supply and requires around 750 milliampere for boot up and normal headless operations. This means if we are using a 2.5 ampere power supply the 5 volt pins can supply a total current of around 1.7 ampere maximum. The green pins are standard GPIO pins and these are what we use for most beginner projects. These are capable of 3.3 volt, volt output, also referred to as setting the pin high in code. When the output pin is low, this means that it is simply providing 0 volt. Pulse width modulation, the PWM pins are used with components such as motors, servos and LEDs by sending short pulses to control how much power they receive. 
PWM is also possible on Pi, pin 12, GPIO 18 and pin 35, GPIO 35 are hardware PWM capable. Though the Pi is also able to provide software PWM through libraries such as Pi GPIO. Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmitter UART Pins 8 and 10 GPIO 14 and 15 are UART pins designed for communicating with Pi using the serial port. There are certain situations where we want to do this but for most beginners connecting to Pi headlessly via SSH or using VNC is probably easier. SPI Serial Peripheral Interface Bus it is a method of communicating with devices like RFID reader. It allows devices to communicate with Raspberry Pi synchronously, meaning much more data can pass between the master and slave devices. Pins 19, 21, 23, 24 and 26. That is GPIO 10, 9, 11, 8, ground and GPIO pin 26 are used to connect SPI device and they are all required for smooth operation. A good way to avoid all spaghetti is to buy a pre-made extension. The SPI protocol is not enabled as standard on Raspbian, but it can be enabled in Raspi config file along I square C. What is I square C? I square C or I to C is inter-integrated circuit and is similar to SPI, but is generally considered to be easier to set up and use. It communicates asynchronously and is capable of sustaining as many different devices as needed, provided they each have unique address places on I2C bus. Due to this addressing system, the Pi only needs two I2C pins, pin 3, GPIO 2 and pin 5, GPIO 3, making it much simpler to use than SPI. Once again, we review the GPIO pin out as we see pin 1 3.3 volt, pin 2 5 volt of power, pin 3 GPIO 2, pin 4 again 5 volt power, GPIO 3 and ground. All the black dots what we see here are ground pins. Then we have pins for UART. GPIOs 17, 27, 22, 15, 18, ground, 23, 24, ground, 25. These serve dual purpose. The pins which are labeled double are serve dual purpose. As we spoke, SPI pins. The GPIO 11, GPIO 7, GPIO 8. Furthermore, GPIO 12 and other GPIO pins. This has wide range of applications. General purpose input output pins are used for connecting to devices and controlling using Raspberry Pi. So this is brief introduction about Raspberry Pi and the GPIO pins. See you soon. Thank you.